Hey guys, it is Adrian over BHA here bringing you another video. Uh, this, of course, is an updated video uh, per one of the requests that's come in. Uh, this is uh, installing and configuring Mosquito MQTT broker in Docker. So really, overall, I don't know that this video is much different than the previous one that I've done, but uh, we'll go through the whole setup again, and uh, hopefully um, this will help anybody that might be having issues getting their uh, Mosquito MQTT broker set up in Docker. All right, so this Docker container will be done with the Eclipse uh, Mosquito Docker image. It's a pretty easy install. Um, there's not a whole lot to it, but we're gonna run through all the steps and uh, hopefully get you guys going. So let's do a quick run through of everything we're gonna cover in this video. So for starters, we're just gonna create a local volume on our uh, Docker host machine. Uh, that way we can store the config files in there. And if we blow the uh, Docker container away, then we can just point right back at those config files and it'll come right back up. Also, it allows us to edit the uh, config files without having to get logged into the um, shell of the Docker container. Once we do that, we will install Mosquito in Docker and we'll be using Docker Compose. That's kind of the way I've been uh, installing all of my Docker images lately, so we're going to stick with that as well. Once we do that, we will create a username and password in Mosquito. And lastly, we'll just do uh, some minor uh, changes to our Mosquito config file. So let's get started. All right, so like I said, for starters, we're just going to create a local volume on our Docker host machine. That's a pretty simple deal. I am keeping mine in my home directory uh, for my username that I use to run all of my Docker images. So we're just going to do a mkdir for make directory mosquito. And as you can see here, I have it listed there uh, in the uh, root of my home directory. Go ahead and move into that just to show you. Yep, there it is, mosquito. Let's go ahead and move on to that next step. All right, so um, since we'll be using Docker Compose, we need to be in our uh, directory that houses our Docker Compose.yaml file. So I have mine inside my Home Assistant directory. And then from there, uh, there's a Docker Compose directory in there. We'll go in there and we'll edit our Docker Compose.yaml file. Look for an open spot down here at the bottom. I'm just going to call mine MQTT. You can call yours Mosquito or whatever you want, it doesn't really matter. Uh, again, for the container name, it will be MQTT. Uh, the image we are using is Eclipse dash Mosquito. Uh, I have that entered in incorrectly there for the image. It's not a uh, forward slash, it is actually a dash. Set the restart to always. And then for the volumes, uh, I'm going to set up three different volumes and just point them to subdirectories inside this Mosquito directory that we just created. Uh, so mine will be uh, slash home slash Adrian slash Mosquito slash config and that will point to uh, colon uh, mosquito slash config. Uh, the same for the data, it'll be uh, slash home slash Adrian slash mosquito slash data and that will also point to slash mosquito slash data. And then lastly for log files we're going to do slash home slash Adrian slash mosquito slash log and we will point those to slash mosquito slash log. Kind of get the idea there. All right, so for ports, uh, you don't necessarily have to add both of these. I know for a fact 1883 is used. I'm not 100% sure why 9001 is listed there, but I, it may use it for something. I don't know, I'm leaving it in there for the time being. It's not open externally or anything, so I'm not worried about it causing any issues that way. Once we have all that in there, we can go ahead and save it. Of course, now we're just going to go ahead and do a docker compose up dash D. So we'll do a sudo docker dash compose up dash D. It will go through everything on the YAML file and do any updates or installs that it needs to do. All right, so this will create everything, but there will not be a mosquito config file 
in our config directory as of yet. It will not create that by default. Uh, so we will need to create one. Um, so the easiest way for us to do that, you can do it however you want. I'm gonna go ahead and do a git clone on the uh, Eclipse Mosquito repo. Uh, that will pull down all the files there. And then from that, I'm going to just copy the uh, config file that they have there and paste it into my config directory. So uh, I'll do my uh, sudo git clone here and I'll have all this in the description below so you can just copy and paste it. And uh, we'll do an ls of eclipse-mosquito. You'll see all the config files in there. So we're just gonna basically um, copy the mosquito.conf file into our configuration directory. So we're gonna do a uh, see, sudo move mosquito.conf and we're gonna go into that mosquito slash config directory that we created at the beginning of this video. Once we have that config file in there, then we're gonna go ahead and restart uh, our MQTT container. Uh, we're, we'll do that through Portainer, and we just wanna make sure that it is actually accessing that config file and, and it's up and running. It doesn't look like it's complaining about anything, so we are good to go and ready to move on to the next step. All right, so we need to create a username and password in our uh, our Mosquito MQTT config. Uh, you don't have to, but I like to have mine with a username and password just to be on the safe side. Uh, so in order to do this command, we do that from the Docker container. So we'll do a sudo docker exec dash it, uh, the name of my container, which is MQTT, and then sh for shell. This will put us in the, uh, console of that docker container and from there we can do a mosquito underscore passwd dash c and we'll point it to our config file which will be slash mosquito slash config slash pw file and then uh, after that we list the username which for me is going to be has h-a-s-s -S. it will prompt us for our password whatever one we want to set it to and then of course you'll have to re-enter it uh, just uh, so that it makes sure that you're using the password that you want. Once you've done all that, you are ready to go and we can exit out of our Docker uh, container. All right, so we created our password. We've got our config file in our config directory and everything. The only thing that we need to do in our config file is to make sure that our uh, password file is pointed to the right spot so that uh, it will pull in the information for that new username and password that we just created. So I'm going to edit my mosquito.com file and I'm just going to do a search for password underscore file. It's down towards the bottom. Here it is. Go ahead and, and it'll say password underscore file and then just the path of that one is going to be slash mosquito slash config slash pw file. Once we have that in there, we can go ahead and save it. And again, we're just going to jump over to our uh, port container here and restart our MQTT or Mosquito container one more time. Once we do that, we'll go ahead and check logs, make sure everything still looks good, and it does. It is listening on port 1883 using our username and password, so we should be good to go. That's the end of the video, guys. This one is not hard to set up as a Docker container. Like I said, we can manage it from port container if we want to. Uh, you can still install the mosquito um, the mosquito client uh, directories and stuff on your host machine if you want to do a mosquito sub or mosquito pub. That will all work even with this container, no issues at all. Let's do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video. So of course we started out by creating a local volume on our Docker host machine. That was to store all of our config files. Uh, once we did that, we installed mosquito in Docker using Docker Compose. Once we had that installed and up and running, then we went ahead and created a username and password uh, to use for Mosquito and all of our devices that we're gonna be using for MQTT. And then lastly, I just uh, showed you how to edit that mosquito.com file and enter in our password file path so that knew where to look for our username and password information. Again, that's the end of the video, guys. Uh, like I said, uh, not a super hard setup. Uh, hopefully this will clear up any issues that anybody was having uh, with their 
uh, Mosquito MQTT broker in Docker. Uh, if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. As always, if there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well. And I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.